Welcome back. Well, it is a name that is synonymous with giving and helping Salvation Army, and they are celebrating 150 years of giving back. With such a momentous occasion, one day is not nearly enough time to honor the years of service. Shauna Crow and Colonel Joe Pasilico are here to tell us about everything going on this weekend. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Colonel, let's start with you, and what does this really mean when we say 150 years of really service? Well, when you think uh, that where the Salvation Army started in the East End of London uh, and where we are today uh, in 127 different countries around the world, uh, if you ever visit the uh, London Bridge in uh, Lake Havasu, you'll see a plaque there that says this is the point where the Salvation Army social work began. Oh, I think that's incredible. And now I'm wondering, you know, what are some of the accomplishments that you've seen made right here in Tucson? Well, we re recently uh, dedicated and opened our new hospitality house, and that uh, has been a 13-year project uh, costing $7.5 million to complete uh, that this community came together to support and make happen. We have talked about that numerous times on our show and the efforts for that. That's amazing. And, Shana, I said one day is not enough <coughs> to celebrate such a, a, a momentous occasion. We have so much going on this weekend. Where do we even start? Oh, well... We're actually, you know, appreciating our employees today. We're having a picnic for them, so that starts off the weekend. And then tomorrow we have our civic luncheon, which is honoring uh, one of the churches here in town that actually help us for our Thanksgiving meal that we serve to the community. We have been working with St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church on Fort Lowell for 26 years. So we're honoring them today and, uh, or I'm sorry, tomorrow for the civic luncheon. And it's just a great opportunity to kind of bring awareness to the Salvation Army in the 150 years we also have a free brass band concert coming into town tomorrow evening, coming from Mesa Citadel in uh, Phoenix. So that'll be enjoy, you know, enjoyable and fun. And, and then Saturday we're doing a walkathon for, it's called the Kettle, Kettle Crush Walk, and it's going on at Reed Park, Ramada 22. And all proceeds that come in through the walk and the pledges will actually go towards our youth programs for all the churches here in town. Wow. So much going on. You're yeah. not kidding. Now, you know, huge music fan over here. Colonel, what else can you tell us about the brass band that's coming in Friday night? Well, the brass band is from our Mesa Salvation Army unit, uh, and they're going to be putting on a, a brass concert, basically. Salvation Army brass uh, bands are uh, go way back in the history of the Army. Uh, in the early days when uh, William Booth and, uh, was a preacher on the streets, and as the Salvation Army began to develop, the army was attacked. They were thrown, had tomatoes thrown at them, rotten eggs. And this family called the Fry family got together, a father and three sons, and they became the security for the Salvation Army. And as a result, that was the start of the Salvation Army brass bands. Wow. There's so much, you know, we were talking about the walk and how we're putting the word kettle in it, because that's what a lot of us think about, but there's so much <laughs> that uh, the organization does and a lot of history, rich history in there. Um, and we also have something that's called like a united meeting, right, Shauna? Tell me about that or if people can be involved with that. It's a united service that we'll do on Sunday morning at 930. It's actually at our Amphi Core, which is down at 218 East Prince Road. Anyone is welcome. It is, a, it is a worship service, and we just bring all of our cores together and, and just worship together and, and fellowship together there. Excellent. Well, as we said, it's been 150 years of greatness from the Salvation Army. I want to know, what's next for the Salvation Army? What are some of our goals or plans? Well, there are several things that we'll be looking at. Uh, you know, when you talk about the Salvation Army in the Southwest Division, which I carry the responsibility for, uh, we have a number of, of new projects coming on board. Just south of here, Sierra Vista, uh, we will start construction on a new uh, Salvation Army Community Center there. Uh, we were just, uh, just did the groundbreaking a couple of weeks ago, and so that's one of the new areas that we're going to, from a 1,500-square-foot building to a 10,000-square-foot building. Well, 150 years, and it sounds like we're, we're going to be going strong into the next 150 years uh, with new initiatives and, and th great things that you guys are doing in the community. So, Shauna, whether somebody wants to be a part of the free band that they can take part in or if they want to do the service or the walk or anything, how can they get all that information? They can definitely call, actually call me directly. It's uh, at 401-6674 and we'll get them all set up and I'll get them hooked up to whatever event they want to come to and, and enjoy themselves this weekend. Excellent. Well, from um, a child whose parents are from Sierra Vista, I want to thank you for extending out that way. I think that's really important. 
We'll look forward to seeing everything that the Salvation Army has to offer in the coming years and looking forward to a great weekend. Thank you so much for coming on the show and giving us that great breakdown. Oh, thank you for allowing thank us to be here. Congratulations. And we will see you next time. And in case you didn't take note, there is a breakdown of the Salvation Army events on your screen right now. It includes the Kettle Crush Walk on May 9th at Reed Park. For complete information, you can also call 795-9671 or visit SalvationArmyTucson.org.